r slash ask reddit what is something that is expensive but only owned by poor people rent own spoiler you never quite own it places like errands just make me mad it seems like you're getting a good deal but you aren't you're paying like twice as much for an item I was going through a divorce in another state, and knew I was going to get my furniture at the end of the process, so I rented a cheap couch for like $10 for 2-3 months to put in my apartment until I got all my stuff. They tried to bully me into buying into all kinds of extra and needed insurances. They were very forceful and condescending. Then one day, I honestly forgot to pay on the date payment was due. It was $10, and I easily had the money, so I was shocked at the level of anger and pushiness from the phone call reminding me payment was due. It made me feel very bad for the people who have to go through these situations and treatments in order to have furniture, not to mention that the couch was complete junk. Single items of things that should be bought in bulk, like single rolls of toilet paper. Barely scraping by paycheck to paycheck means buying bulk is sometimes impossible. In poorer sections of a city, convenience stores and liquor stores sell single cigarettes. A Lucy taught to me by the chapel show. A perpetually broken car. I was leaving an abusive relationship that also ruined my credit. So my parents bought me a car so that I could survive once I got out. They overpaid and spent $3000 on a 2002 Toyota Corolla with over 200,000 miles on it. It was nice gesture. But I'm now stuck paying them back every month. And I have spent over $1500 in repairs on this car in the last year and it's still not running like it should. There's no way I could find another sucker to buy this piece of junk so I'm stuck with it until I can pay it off or until I fix my credit. What a mess. Prepay electricity meters. I though it was a movie thing. There really are people somewhere putting dollar coins into a meter to get light. Dental problems. Those impacted wisdom teeth are hella expensive. Being poor is very expensive. Dentist here, and I'd like to apologize on behalf of my profession for this. There should be more resources available to help people pay to have impacted partially impacted wisdom teeth removed. Unfortunately removal of these teeth is often a difficult and risky procedure, and requires a specialist, which is super expensive. Attack on general sedation and it's way beyond the reach of many patients. Medicaid reimbursements are shit, so most oral surgeons don't take it. General practitioners like me aren't trained to do this procedure, and if we want to learn, it adds a massive expense to our malpractice insurance, and is often not worth it. It's a tough situation for all, but it's the patients that end up suffering the most. I'm sorry. I remember I had an old Chevy truck that cost so much to maintain and keep fuel in that I couldn't afford to save for another car. I literally kept me broke until I eventually joined the military and could afford a different vehicle. Crappy cars are more expensive than you realize. Bad credit. It is expensive to make someone comfortable enough to loan you money without them being certain you'll pay it back. A lot of companies like cell phone service providers will make you put down a large deposit before they'll sign a contract. Pretty much anything with a contract is more expensive if your credit is bad. I wasn't taught money skills growing up and was stupid as a teenager so my credit has been a struggle to rebuild. Debt. I feel like the question was written just for this answer. Well at my job there are a few people who I'm aware of their salary. They make around $25,000 a year after taxes. One of them somehow has a lifted Ford Raptor that I hear is like $50,000. He recently acquired a motorcycle too. He probably thinks it's cool but he's likely eating the dirt off his tires because he can't afford anything else but those payments and insurance. Sounds like he has two jobs or doesn't pay for his housing. I'm sure he doesn't have another job. I am pretty sure he lives with his GF at her parents house though. So that's probably it. Lottery tickets. Well, 99.999969% of lottery tickets. So you're telling me there's a chance. A lot of kids. The poor are often very fruitful. I am one of the lowest paid employees at my facility. I always wondered why some of my higher paid co-workers drove old rundown cars and I have a fairly new car. After a few years it clicked that they all have 2-4 kids and I don't. Sometimes it's the other way around. 
They'd be rich if they didn't have a lot of kids. Some of the families I know have incomes of like 200-250k or even more but they just had 6-10 kids and sent them all to Catholic school. Cigarettes. Expensive as duck in Australia. I think they are expensive almost everywhere now. Yep, but in Australia it's a whole other level. A pack in US costs about $8, while in Sydney a pack is $20 US or 30 Australian dollars. To those saying packs cost $15 in NYC I'm referring to prices in Michigan. Despite a high state tax for tobacco products, Detroit doesn't have an additional city tax that pushes prices as high as other major cities. Shopping carts. My ex was a manager at a supermarket in a low income area, and he and an employee or two would drive around every couple of weeks to collect stranded shopping carts. He told me stories of finding carts used as all kinds of shit including dog cages and a grill. Someone turned a shopping cart over on top of a fire pit and grilled meat on it. Innovation. He didn't get that cart back. Are they expensive? Roughly car priced. Lack of preventative care. Cheap shoes or cheap mattress leads to more expensive medical care. Lack of dental maintenance leads to expensive surgeries. That kind of thing. When you can't afford preventative medical care, it catches up to you, leading to more expensive costs later. Bad teeth. When you can't afford a dentist visit and let your oral health slide, it can have all sorts of expensive health consequences, such as heart disease. Heart disease is not a proven consequence of poor dental health. It is a recognized association, as in people who can't or don't take care of their teeth likely aren't taking care of their heart either. Designer handbags covered in the brand logo. Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton. Crippling medical debt. My medical debt got sent to debt collectors. For the last two years I've been ignoring them anytime they call or send letters. How much trouble could I get in if I continue to ignore them? Slabs it's hood rich and they spend so much more on straps, candy coats, and clean enough interiors. Looks dope but I don't care for cars that much to own one and I'm not from Houston. I used to live in 3rd Ward in Houston and you see the nicest cars parked outside of houses that are practically falling down. Just paying rent. Where I live mortgages why are I cheaper than getting a house but they don't give me a mortgage because I don't earn enough. So I have to keep renting expensive places making it take even longer for me to save up. And in my situation getting a better paying job is difficult. I swear this world is made for the rich and middle class. Poor people are straight up ducked in every way possible. Long term near constant stress and worry over money. Definitely expensive in terms of physical and mental health. Chrysler 300. You just brought back the funniest memory. My husband and I were looking at used cars. The hungry young car salesman told us he had something really special in the back. Walks us out there and shows us a Chrysler 300 that the former owner had bought huge, chrome 22 inches wheels for. It's every homie's dream. Except my husband is the gingery whitest. Dad type ever and definitely not interested in this car. The kid put the cherry on the experience when he, straight face, said to my husband can't you see yourself rolling on dubs? My husband looked at me, totally lost and trusting me for translation. I was helplessly giggling at how badly the salesman had misread us and we left. Now every time we see a car with big wheels I ask him if he'd like to roll on dubs. Loads of stuff. It's expensive being poor for a variety of reasons. Including having to buy poorer quality goods and needing to replace them more often because of initial cost. Not being able to bulk buy. Predatory loads. And really anything that puts someone in a you have no other choice position. On top of that there are things like cheap food being bad for your health and incurring expensive health bills later in life. Continuing paying rent on something you'll never own. Cheap cars that require maintenance more often. Being poor is expensive f. Tattoos. They're not cheap, but somehow they're inked from head to toe. The tattoos usually look cheap. I've heard people say they'd never pay more than a hundred for a tattoo. I was shocked. But then I looked at their tattoos and thought, I can tell. Decent size house that costs about 200k dollars. Being poor because they now have to pay the bank around 1k monthly and barely have money to take care of the house. Electricity, water, heat, etc. And themselves. 
bro. You made it to the end, you're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.